Good morning, everybody. Luis Bedoya here with Charles Ruthenberg Realty. And today I'm going to show you a property at the heart of Seminole listed at 474,000. This video is going straight to the investor that's interested and it's going to be private. So if you're interested in having videos come to you on properties that were listed maybe less than 12 hours ago, go ahead and reach out to me, like, subscribe. Let's go ahead and take a look at this neighborhood. I just want to give you a view of my beautiful Doxina who's already entangled up on her own leash. All right, without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at this house. So, I'm just gonna wait a little bit for the sellers to leave the house. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, and this is the very first showing of this property since it hit the market. In the meantime, I'm going to show you around the neighborhood, and because I know that there's going to be a ton of people here to be very soon to see the house, I am gonna hold on to the keys. I'm gonna open this house then I'm gonna lock it for a little bit so we can have a proper tour of this house. It'll be about 10 minutes. So let me go ahead and flip the camera, show you a little bit of what I'm looking at. And here are the home sellers who just had two twins. They're eight weeks old and uh, hopefully we can get something done for them. But anyways, here we go. Let's check it out. All right, so this is your neighbor's house. This will be your neighbor's house. It's at a T intersection right here is the street and it goes on a 92nd Avenue. Um, again, these are one of these neighborhoods where you can move here, you can live here, you can have your kids here. The schools are really good. So if you're thinking about making this a short-term rental and you're worried that, you know, what do I do if the house doesn't work out, if things don't go right, this could be very well become a, a long-term, a mid-term or a resale. So again, <clears throat> let's go ahead and do a little bit of walk through and talk through about this house. I see that we have a two car garage, a little bit of an elevation change, but this isn't anything major. Again, when you're stepping into a house, just make sure that you have rough enough signals that you let people know what's your step on the way up. And we got double door going on. I like these when they have um, glass on them. So again, guys, haven't been here before, haven't turned any light. I just wanted to get in and make sure that we lock that door and take the keys with us. Otherwise, we would have had several folks trying to walk in here and into our video. So I've seen Seminole houses with this layout before where the pool is going to be back there. There's some should be bedrooms this way, bedroom stores this way, living room back here. So let's see. I have a house. It's Antilles Drive. And this is a very similar layout. And if you watch that video, this right here is exactly that same layout as Antilles Drive, which is already posted on Airbnb but here just notice something elevation change that I didn't even see and I took a step anyways we have ways to create ramps and find find solutions to those at this point we figure out ways for us to cut down on that but yes absolutely this looks very familiar to until drive which was purchased at six hundred and eighty five thousand dollars Again, being that it was a much more upgraded unit. Ceiling fan, chandeliers, paint job is here. There's already a lot of character. We got tile, ceramic tile here. Grouts can be cleaned up. I would even keep those same floors. Okay, so now we got kitchen. Not bad. Okay, so now we have vinyl going on, vinyl floors. Countertops and granite. Granite looks nice. Wood looks okay. This kitchen could be used to me. This kitchen could be used just the way it is for Airbnb. And this, at the Antilles, we don't have a second dining room. We have a game room. And Antilles, we make this a game room. So we have a, a sign here that says game room. Exactly the bar. Our bar was set up on that side and we have a, a pool table down here in the middle right next to the kitchen. And here's your foyer, foyer. And again, you have the same elevation change that we just found on the house. So we could potentially build a ramp going from that end up down here. That's a, This one is an easy fix. And the same with the other one. So let's take a quick look at the garage, see what we can find. Step down, we have sink. Water heater, water heater does not look old to me, but I don't see an H 
HVAC. And I'm looking for the main panel, which is back here. Obviously, you know, we can barely see it, but I, it could be one of those that we have to upgrade and a panel upgrade, about $1,800. It's done over one day or two. Look how cool. So again, this house has already a lot of character. <laughs> All right. We got pool area, backyard. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at that in just a second. But, all right, like I said, we have rooms back here, one bedroom, all right? Easily fit two singles in this, in this place. Obviously, you might wanna do them from here, one and two, right? And you hang a TV up here possibly, or in that corner if it, if it allows. Okay, now we got, all right, all right. So now it's starting to be a little bit different than it is in Antilles. All right, we got bathroom here. Pretty well updated, in my opinion. This looks really nice to me. Rhino, this looks like it's already an Airbnb, but I know it's not. Okay. And then your shower tub. Not so bad, not so bad. Maybe you just do a little repair work on those, but there's already a lot of character with these textures and decent finishes. All right, let's go ahead and keep taking a look here. All right, so I believe this is our master bedroom. All right. Definitely a king goes in there. Closet, enough space, perfect. Get another view of the room, ceiling fan will be nice to upgrade it, have something that looks a little bit more recent. And now we get to the master bathroom. Hello everyone. Look at these finishes, this is nice. Honestly, if, I, if it was him putting in an offer in this house, and again, listen, if this is the first video you watch from me, I don't normally tell my clients to just buy whatever I find. I don't tell my clients to just jump on the first deal. Never do that. But this at 475 in the neighborhood with the pool, with the area, with the rooms, with the square footage, with the remodels, with the character, with the vinyl fence. Oh gosh, don't tell me that this. Guys, come on. Listen, if you want this house, Oh yeah, if you, if you want this house, you have to put in an offer right now, right now. And it has to be strong. This is nice. This is one of a kind. Now, granted, you might have some noise back here from the kids and you may have some balls that end up in your, in your patio, but that is pretty nice. You open this up and you let the kids go out there and have a soccer game. We gotta like make sure and find out that it's okay for us to use those areas, but that is a brand maker right there. We got plenty of space back here. So let's go ahead and take a look. Um, these windows are not updated. Hopefully there's no doggy stuff back here. Plenty of AC system here for the whole house. I think this unit should power at least 2,500 square foot. So definitely enough for the house. You got some slab here. Here's where you're gonna put the jacuzzi. <laughs> Absolutely right. Now you do have some pool equipment here that might get a little bit loud. Some palm trees. Pool, I can tell the pool is a cement pool. Maybe, hopefully I'm not wrong. But I do that, it doesn't need resurfacing. Looks nice, decent, ready to go. And I do like the fact that it has depth, character. It's a little bit different than normal pool. We got some more space back here, enough privacy. As you can see, it's a beautiful day. Guys, we're doing about 74, 72 degrees. All right, and voila, plenty of space back here to convert this into a whole tiki bar hangout space where you throw a nice family dinner party. All right, so that was the master. I think we missed one of the rooms back there. I got a little too excited and came out here immediately. Uh, Lanai. 
gonna need some rework. And here's your area. This is pretty good, guys. The fact that we are able to open up this upgraded window and put foot out here for people, it's gonna be a game changer. So what I do see in this property is that a lot of the boxes are checking right away, okay? A lot of the boxes I'm seeing in check right away, upgraded. I don't know if we can get him back for this way. So let's go ahead and come back out. But yeah, folks, I am seeing quite a lot of potential. And for a unit that's listed at $475,000 in Seminole, um, sorry, but I believe it might not be a bad idea for you to consider snatching this one out of the market with a good offer price. Again, so you will eventually want to, if you want to upgrade those floors, there's things here and there that will need to be done, all right? This is not a perfect house, it's not finished. It's 475,000 again. There's some things that will need to be done on a property like this one, but man, the meat and bones are done. The bathrooms primarily as well. I will do is upgrade the, the, the floors. But first, I will just clean the grouts, use it like this, and later on a low season, then I will consider continuing this flooring. This will be nice to do it before you enter the market, setting up a little ramp there. The same as this one back here, setting up a little ramp on this one, if it's possible in any way, right? But anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you like it. If you have any questions, make sure you reach out to me. And for my client who's going to be the one who's getting this video directly from me, I appreciate you working with me. I appreciate your trust. It's always a pleasure, my friend. And I, oh, where do we go? And I should be calling you shortly. So talk to you soon. Bye-bye.